Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. This classic game has been updated with a 4K interface and a remastered soundtrack, so it was reborn again with a new beautiful face, a thing most of us will never have. But don't let the pretty paint job fool you. This is a story rich tactical RPG with a mind bending story and a massive world. World of Planescape Torment features 5000 pages of dialogues, so there is a way less combat and a lot more exploring and reading. People who created this game had a serious writing problem. You know how many pages of text a typical 8-minute YouTube video has? About 5. That slightly varies depending on reading speed and the text size, so it's easy to say that Planescape Torment contains the same amount of text as average 1000 YouTube videos. That's how massive it is. It probably even bends time and space, a real rival to your mama. People on Steam comments say that the story is unique, the characters are extremely well developed, and at the end chances are good that you will feel an actual attachment to the companions you meet along the way. Well, when you have no friends in real life, you get attached to imaginary ones, that's fair. Also, I even know several guys who prefer Planescape Torment over Baldur's Gate, and I can see why. But also, I have heard of people who eat strawberries with mayonnaise, so take this info with a grain of salt. And this video is brought to you by The Rich Wallet. I never knew I needed it, but now I never go anywhere without it. It's so much smaller and better than my usual wallet. And you know what I like the most? Rich Wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Yeah, you heard right. You buy it once and that's it. You will have it forever and can pass it on to your grandkids or your clones. You never know, the future is now. Also, it is a perfect gift for upcoming Father's Day. Help your father change that bulky abomination. Kill me, please. With this awesome Rich Wallet, he will be impressed. <laughs> Or you know who will also be impressed? You! Yes, you! Because Ridge Wallet is great for everyone! It's the best for me because it feels nice in my pocket and it's easy to use. Look how happy I am! It holds up to 12 cards, plus there is a room for a cash or two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby! You can choose from over 30 colors and it protects you from digital pickpocketers. Hacker man! Check out the link in the description and use my secret code to get a 50% discount. This is a risk-free offer. You can test drive the wallet for up to 45 days and you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. The Ridge Wallet. Carry less, live more. Tailspire. Overwhelmingly positive reviews is not a common thing on Steam, that's for sure. Only a few hundred of tens of thousands games have it, and this game is not a typical game as well. Tailspire is a beautiful way to play pen and paper RPGs, except here you won't need pen and paper. Instead, you can bring your own stories to life and embark upon campaigns together with your friends regardless of where you are in the world, and the engine of Tailspire will do everything it can to make you happy. No, no, it can't do that, you pervert. Yeah. So in a way it's a tabletop game where the rules, battles and adventures are supervised by AI. As developers say, the beauty and physicality of tabletop gaming here meets the endless possibilities of a digital world. Here you can collaboratively build your worlds without compromising the handcrafted aesthetic of using traditional miniatures. You can take on a mantle of multiple heroes and creatures, manage your stats and express yourself using the emote system, perform dice rolls directly on the board and interact with your environment. As a game master, you can dazzle and thrill your friends by building expansive maps, setting up shots, and controlling immersive soundscapes to bring all your delightful and devious designs to life. I can imagine what my scenario would be called. Vodka Bender and Potato Salad Man against the evil mothers-in-law in Majestic called Beristan. Sounds great. I also have to say that Tailspire is not tied to a specific game or rule set. You make your own rules or bend them as you wish, and the game makes sure that no one can break them. Game is in the early access right now, so don't expect miracles, but hey, early access game with overwhelmingly positive reviews? Now I've seen everything. Dungeon of Nolbeck this is a humoristic approach to the serious RPG genre. You'll find exciting battles and creative support mechanics between team members, and an adaptive difficulty system. From the accessible and fun story mode with simplified combat to the nightmare mode where the smallest tactical errors will doom you. And yeah, people on Steam are talking that the game should probably be played on the easiest difficulty, unless you can read the developer's mind and know exactly how to build and equip your characters for each handmade battle. Also, the game's humor reminds 
lines of 80s sitcoms and is probably strongly influenced by Terry Pratchett's books, so be sure you like that. You'll also encounter more than 100 enemy types and really epic boss battles. I don't know, all of this sounds really fun. Not every game must have a serious story. Sometimes we all need to relax and this game might be just it. Solasta, Crown of the Magister. This is the only game where I managed to roll four critical misses in a row while fighting lowest level spiders and my whole party died. That happened in early access a long time ago, but it's hard to forget how evil this game was at the beginning of its journey. Now it's okay, although don't expect miracles, this game is still hard and forgives no rookie mistakes. Despite that, this is one of the coolest party-based RPGs. Here you will explore the shattered world of Celeste and explore ruins and dungeons for legendary treasures. Many dangers hide in the dark, but a light can also track the monsters scarier than your ex-mother-in-law. I'm kidding, nothing is scarier than she is. Here some enemies have dark vision and some may flee from your torch, you never know. Anyway, not simple light, but the light from your fireballs will keep you safe. Just like playing games like these keeps your virginity safe as well. Yes, very very safe. Pillars of Eternity one of the most famous CRPG titles out there. It's hard to believe, but at the moment about 7 years have already passed since the initial release of the game. Pillars of Eternity really conquered the heart of RPG fans. It has a great storyline, fun D&D mechanics, eye-catching visuals and also the most important thing in these games, your choices and decisions really matter. Well, if they are dumb, you will suffer as you are suffering in real life now, because long time ago you wrongly decided to not become an outstanding penis doctor. Oh, what a doctor could have you become? Anyway, it is what it is, right? And in the game you can always choose to replay your dumb answers and make a good call after all, which is way harder to do in real life. People are talking that Pillars of Eternity is a spiritual successor of Baldur's Gate, but it really lacks some voice acting and voiceover and it has walls of text and you have to read and understand and, you know, well, it's not a book, but it's leaning to that side quite heavily. And there is also Pillars of Eternity 2. Dead Fire which you can play without any knowledge of the first part, to be honest. Here you will pursue a rogue god over the land and sea, captain your ship on a dangerous voyage of discovery across the vast and explored archipelago region of the Dead Fire. Also, have you noticed how all the names in fantasy games and books have some doomy and gloomy meaning? Region of Dead Fire, lands of crying souls, mountain of doom, sea of sorrow, river of endless suffering, forest of dying sins, and so on, while in the real world all those places would probably have way less terrifying names given to them by locals, such as Region of Rocks, Lands of Dirt, The Volcano, Sea of Water, River of Fishing and Forest of Pedophiles. Yeah, this is an exception way more terrifying than Forest of Dying Sins to be fair, don't go there. Anyway, all the names are way less poetic in the real world, so in Deadfire you will bend the world to your will as you explore the depths of endless possibilities, including detailed character customization, total freedom of exploration and meaningful choices at every turn. Ok, maybe not all of those are meaningful and probably not at every turn as well, but the game is great, bad comments on Steam and GOG are quite rare, usually people are complaining about the loading speed, and to be honest, it's a blasphemy to even call it a loading speed, it's a loading sloth and that's at best. Wasteland Free Although this game is not set in a fantasy world, I don't think many Baldur's Gate fans would disagree with me if I put this wonderful game in this list. Here will take command of a squad of desert rangers, lawmen in a post-apocalyptic world trying to rebuild society from their radioactive ashes. More than a century after the bombs fell, you will fight a losing battle to keep your beloved homeland alive. So you are dispatched on a desperate quest from the scorching deserts to the snowy mountains to start from scratch, building new base, finding a great vehicle, training new recruits and fighting your way through a hostile frozen wastes. You know, it really reminds me of my homeland Lithuania. We don't even need a nuclear winter to live like this. Everything is frozen here 5 months a year, every year. In Wasteland 3 you will have to face difficult moral choices and make decisions that will change the world around you as well. All games are promising that choices matter deal, but Wasteland 3 really delivers. You know, here you will find lots of dialogues and most of them are really funny. Yeah. The game will keep you and your sexy body entertained for many hours. Torment Tides of Numenera 
I have to say that while this game is inspired by the classic game, Tides of Numenera doesn't share the lore of Planescape Torment. Instead it shares the composer Mark Morgan, a dude who created music not only for Planescape Torment, but also for Fallout 1 and 2. So in game you will hear about 50 different music tracks made by him. Here your words, choices and actions are your primary weapons, meaning that this game consists mostly of reading and talking rather than fighting. World of Numenera is really impressive, hand-drawn original setting filled with offbeat and unpredictable items to use in and out of battle, and also cool feats of magic. Powered by technology used in the award-winning Pillars of Eternity, the game provides numerous wonders and impressive locations for you to explore. People are talking that one of the best parts of Numenera is the character creation process, good leveling mechanics and interesting NPCs, but boy oh boy there are so many comments about the reading part. So I have one piece of advice, play this game not when you want to play the game, but when you want to read a book. It will probably be a wonderful game for Steam Deck, so you can play this game in bed comfortably, along with your virginity. Expeditions Viking Game description says, A small band of Norse warriors lands on the shores of England. History may have forgotten their names, but their actions live on. Well, I should probably say that the actions Vikings made in real-life England involved a lot of pillaging and other crimes. So romantic. TV series named Vikings and later an even better and even more epic TV show named Norseman teached us about that really well. Game has very positive reviews on Steam, but there are also quite a few comments saying that the game is a bit too slow, you know, just like your sister. So be careful, read those comments before buying. Expeditions Rome this is an indirect sequel of Expeditions Viking, and it has already accumulated a very positive review score on Steam as well. You will create your own Roman legacy, customize your character's look, gender, class and skills to match your playstyle and role-playing fantasy. Although I doubt that we will get a slider for our ding-dong size, that would be a pleasant surprise. Here as in a prequel, you will engage in tactical turn-based combat powered by an extensive skill-based action system, where every weapon changes your potency on the battle. Field. This is a great game for people who like to use the tiny organ between our ears. Divinity Original Sin 2 I remember when several years ago I was still working as a copywriter in one fancy advertising agency. I had a co-worker who was a hardened gamer, and by that I mean that he played all the games on hard difficulty and had no trouble with it. I don't remember his name, so let's call him Dude for this story. One early morning I came to work and Dude was sitting on my desk with the red eyes wide open. Have you played Divinity Original Sin 2? He asked me, and I was like, no, I don't even know what that is. And then Dude said, that is the best game I have ever played. You must try it. Playing this game will be the best thing you will ever do. And I was like, Dude, don't underestimate your mother. Anyway, then he just went home to sleep. It turned out that he installed the game before going home last evening and played it all night at work. That probably got him fired. I don't know. Honestly, I was fired sooner for playing Hearthstone at work all day. Office life wasn't for me anyway. So be careful. Check if you have a lot of free time before diving into original Sin 2, overwhelmingly positive Steam reviews are there for a reason. Encased Another sci-fi party-based RPG, but it's really good and it has very positive reviews on Steam, so I decided to include it into this list as well. People are talking that Encased is like an inbred baby of Mass Effect and classic Fallout, and that is never a bad thing. Well, I'll be honest, most of the negative comments revolve around the story. The further you play, the more you are disappointed with the given answers, or you know, no answers at all. Things are getting repetitive and the sheer amount of looting containers is just wasting your time as you go. But this is a great game character-wise. A recommendation of one player is just to play it as a convict with an intellect score of 1, and you will see that developers actually care and took their time to create a narrative for a dumb person. That sounds cool, especially that the writing in this game is actually really good. Not as good as your wife's skill of faking an orgasm, but close enough. Tyranny like Pillars of Eternity, it is created by the narrative masterminds at Obsidian Entertainment. Tyranny is a classic-styled RPG with an original story shaped and molded by your actions. Game looks great, it is really aesthetically pleasing to the eye, and reviews on Steam are very positive as well. You have to scroll hard to find any bad ones. As people say, this gameplay is just like Baldur's Gate, so you probably won't be disappointed if you buy it. Although, be prepared to read a lot. This is more like a book than an actual game. You will get your fighting portion as well, but it is a slow low-paced game, make sure you have several hours of free time before you sit down with it. Stolen Realm 
This is a bit of a different title, but I doubt that fans of Baldur's Gate will be mad about it, because this game looks really awesome. Here you can play alone or up to 6 players in online co-op. Stolen Realm has a simultaneous team turn system implemented for faster combat and character scaling, meaning that no matter how many people will join you on your quest, the overall difficulty of the game will stay the same. Here, more than 240 skills and 8 distinct skill trees, 500 items and fun rewarding activities will keep you entertained. Game is an early access, but it already has very positive reviews, so it's a great sign. People are talking that the game is really enjoyable, but best if played in a group of 2 to 4 people. For example, I don't have this amount of friends, so I will skip it and keep my virginity strong with other games, but if you have a buddy or two, invite your both mothers-in-law and have fun together. And after that, of course, you can try this game. Tower of Time a story-rich dungeon crawler with interesting real-time combat that lets you pause or slow time itself. Each battle here is designed like a tactical puzzle. If you want to enjoy combat, you need to pick the difficulty which is suitable for your skill and adjust it as you progress. On the highest difficulty level, it's very demanding and requires you to find synergies between classes, skills and equipment. It's similar to real life when you are trying to realize what your girlfriend or wife really wants. So if you like challenges, this game can really become one of your favorites, although because of that, that Tower of Time is really suitable for fans of the genre and not so friendly for new players. On standard difficulty, it will burn about 50 hours of your boring lifetime. Gene Forge, one mutagen. Well, if you or I entered a beauty contest one day, we would feel like Geneforge feels among other RPGs now. And I mean beautiful, mature and smart. Yeah, and what did you think of? Raise some confidence, you are an amazing person, never doubt that. Now subscribe. So Geneforge 1 Mutagen is a total remaster of a classic game Geneforge released in 2001. It contains new areas, quests, characters, dialogue, a redone interface and systems, and a complete rework of every single thing to bring it into the modern era of gaming. The game also gives you a choice of playing all of this without killing stuff. Well, almost without killing, but mostly with. You know, diplomacy is a tricky business. War Tales yeah, it has been a hundred years since the world saw the fall of the once great Edoran Empire at the hands of an unprecedented plague that swept the nation. That suspiciously sounds like the real world nowadays. So prepare to lead a group of characters into a huge open world where combat, death and a thirst for riches will shape and define your day-to-day -day life. You are not a special chosen one ushering in a new era of peace, nah. Your goal is solely to survive, well, and thrive in this harsh and hostile land. Again, just like in the the real world nowadays. You can recruit from the vast array of new companions with numerous unique skill sets and weapon preferences, resulting in a plethora of possible builds. You will accept contracts that will take you on a task to defend, liberate and save the many inhabitants of the land, you know, for money. Also you will be able to collect bounties, from the most insignificant petty thieves to the land's most notorious figures. There is no such thing as profit too small to take, you know, that expensive vodka would not buy itself. Thank you for watching, don't forget to check Check the sponsor of this video, The Ridge Wallet, and the link in the description. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.